What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we will solve a problem involving current density due to a uniformly charged solid sphere. The problem reads, a uniformly charged solid sphere of radius r and total charge q is centered at the origin and spinning at a constant angular velocity omega about the z-axis. Find the current density J at any point R, theta, and phi within the sphere. Okay? So let's try to uh, illustrate first the problem. So if we're going to set up our coordinate system, X, Y, and Z. So this is your sphere. And it's already set that. It is mo uh, moving about the Z axis. Okay. Sorry about this. So the particle, uh, the sphere is moving along this direction. So that means the angular velocity omega is along the Z direction. Okay. So let's say uh, this is your sphere. Okay. So if, let's say, this is our uh, angular, uh, the volume element. Okay. This direction this is actually said to be this is uh if this is r this is theta this is r sine theta okay okay now if you're going to look at the view Facing downward along the z-axis, you can redraw this as follows. So this is the x and the y. So if this is the section of the sphere, okay, this one is the projection of this element. Okay, so we know that this length is r sine theta as mentioned here that the that the velocity the linear velocity of this element would always be tangent to the radius r sine theta in this projection so therefore the velocity the magnitude would be r sine theta times omega. So remember that this is your omega. So this is omega r sine theta. And the direction is, remember that this is your theta direction. So we have your, ah, sorry, phi direction. So this is phi hat. Okay. So by definition, the current density J is equal to rho V. So therefore, this is now equal to rho omega R sine theta hat okay here we define rho as the total charge q over the total volume remember that this is a uniformly charged distribution so we can use this basic equation to get the density or to relate density the total charge and the total volume because it's a uniformly solid sphere therefore Rho is equal to Q over 4 thirds pi R cube. 
So therefore, the final answer would be J is now equal to what? Is now equal to 3 Q Omega R divided by 4 pi R cube sine theta phi hat. So you will notice that this is J is now a function of R, theta, and phi. Simple, right? So your task now is to answer letter A of problem 5.6. Okay. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.